in this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to use IntelliSense and intelligent code completion in the Visual Studio code for the Cypress automation test. So what does it mean, right? So here I will go to the VS code. So this is a sample test what we have created in the previous session. So inside the CY, so we have lots of functions actually, but it is not suggesting all those functions currently, right? So these are the some functions what we have used or the keywords what we have used just now. So it is suggesting all those things, but there are many commands inside the CY dot. So currently it is not showing us all those commands or the functions. So how you can enable this particular feature in the VS code for the Cypress automation test. So there are two solutions. One is simply we have to add this particular line, one line code in the JavaScript file in the beginning. So you need to add this particular line in the beginning of this particular JS file. So that is the one solution. And the second solution, how you can enable the auto completion code for the Cypress automation code is so simply you need to create the JS config dot JSON file in the in your project. And then you need to add this particular one line of code in the JS config dot JSON file. So let's check this by using the first approach so that we have to add it add a three slash and followed by that we have to add the this particular tag so that is a reference and types we have to add the cypress so simply i will copy this particular line of code and i will go to the vs code now so we have to add this as the very first line in the javascript spec file then it will enable the cypress command auto completion code you will get it so now i have added it and i have saved it so that's it guys now let me just save this file and now i will enter the cy dot now if you see here so it's displaying all the commands and functions which are there inside the cy so if i take example of just get right here i'll say get and if you see the get method and if I go on the right side and also it is displaying the example how you can use the this particular get function so it can be used for the assertion assertion purpose also right so by seeing the example also you can get to know what is the usage of that particular command so like this you can get all the auto completion code for the Cypress automation test so this is a one way guys so let me delete this particular line number one code that's a three slash and followed by that we have specified one tag so this is a one way how you can use the intelligent code completion in the vs code for the cypress automation test so we have the second solution so simply you need to create the json config dot json file and we have to add this particular line of code in the inside this json file so let's validate this one so whether still that feature is enabled here or not and if you see here that feature is not enabled right now so we have removed the line number one so that's the reason this again intellisense feature is disabled now let's look at the second solution so as i said we need to create the json sorry js config dot json file we have to create at the root folder so let's create the json file and let's add this particular line of code inside the file so here i'm adding the json sorry js config dot json so that's it so i have added the one line of code that is include and followed by that within the square brackets we are specifying node underscore models cypress and we are adding the cypress followed by that one forward slash star star and followed by that star dot js so that's it guys now let's close this js config dot json file now let's come back to the our javascript spec file so what i will do is once again i will hit the cy dot and if you see here 
so it is started showing the auto completion code so simply you can just type get so it will display all the respective cypress commands or the cypress functions so in the previous solution right guys say for example if you have created 10 javascript spec files so you need to add the this particular line in all 10 javascript spec files but so second solution is a one stop solution so you can create this particular file and add this one line of code inside the file that's it done so i would suggest to use the second solution so just create a one file add this sorry guys so add this particular line of code and that will be a one stop solution for the to get the auto code completion in the vs code for the cypress automation test so that's all i'm having in this uh, session